And let's, let's go to this next one. A Colorado man says that he plans to sue the very people who rescued him from drowning in a car for a half a million dollars. Now, he was driving through a flooded area, yellow, and his car <laughs> sunk into a creek. He was stuck there for two hours, surviving off a small air bubble before city workers found him. He says he's lucky to be alive, but the city should have known to shut down the road. It begs to the question, are we now a Sioux happy society? Robin, is this going overboard? You know what? I remember. Do you guys remember when this happened? It happened live one morning, and I was I was anchoring, and we could see it happen, and I couldn't believe that there was a guy in there. They pulled him out, and the car went back over, and I thought, oh, now he's a goner. Like, he was a goner twice. And they were in there, and they could have gotten swept away. They got the guy, and I remember saying, like, on the air, oh, thank the Lord, and oh, my gosh, rescuers, what a good job. So now to find out that this guy wants to sue him. I think his lawyer says the point is, well, they should have closed the road. Well, I'm sure the rescuers thought, you should have kept your hiney home and said, you were the one out there driving and we had to risk our lives to get you. Yeah. So I think it is so wrong of them to even consider because they've only filed an intent to sue. Robin, did you see that poor man? He has such post-traumatic stress disorder from sitting in a car for two hours with a little air bubble. He could barely breathe. He drove and himself he was into the hole. But we don't know, was that street okay to drive on? Oh. So, I, listen, I think we are a very litigious society. We are so quick to sue people for something that could really be our fault. But I think this guy has a case. He no, has... He wants to he sue the people who rescued He has him. recurring dreams <laughs> of him <laughs> shivering to death. I mean, I couldn't even imagine. Well, and and, half, and imagine? half a million dollars is going to make that dream go away, Matt. I tell you what, come on. <laughs> next time... Ridiculous. Listen, the there, next time that we have somebody who goes... I don't know if I should help you. I don't know if I should help you on the side no, of the road. No, we can thank this problem, guy. Because these guys, a lot of these responders are volunteers. So here they are. They come, they help us, they save us. They swam he should be... past them. Oh, they come on, they swam. They the got man, him out of the car. He was trying to yell, but he only had a little air bubble. He couldn't say, come over here. He didn't oh, want to use up all yeah. his air. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's a traumatic... Steve, but... you're in a car with an air bubble this small for two hours. You're watching divers swim around you. Well, you, you know what? Yeah, yeah. Okay, see, the only right. problem is... See, Steve ain't driving in the flood go swim area, right past and they see, won't come back. if you're on a bridge <laughs> and you go through a bridge and you see water sweeping over the bridge and you keep driving, you supposed to get swept over in there. And I got news for you. You're lucky. <laughs> you're lucky them Brave City Rescue of Fire Workers was who they were, because Steve would have let your monkey ass stay in that car. <laughs> I'm telling you that right now. That's what I ain't finna do. I'll bet the poor guy probably doesn't want to do any of this. It's probably lawyer talk. He probably but you know, can't get his bill. She made a great paid. point. She said, Tabitha said, oh, and $500,000 is going to stop these that dreams. Might, that might make me have less nightmares, too. <laughs> Let's be real. That might, I could go to Hawaii. I could set up somewhere, <laughs> you know, go out to the club. Get it off your mind. Yeah, get me some, get my drink on. <laughs> oh, get <laughs> your drink on. You, $500,000, that's a lot of liquor. After that. that is a lot of liquor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.